everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, my name's Jess. As you can see, I am wearing a pair of jeans that really don't fit me <laughs> because these are the jeans that I thrifted the other day. So if you watch my vlogmas from a few days ago, I went to a Goodwill and I found these Levi's jeans. They're five fifties. So this is just like the before of the jeans. So they're definitely pretty big on my waist here. So I definitely need to take in probably three to four inches on the waist. Then I think they would look a lot better. So that is today's mission. So we just got these denim needles from Joann's. I believe they're size like 16. We have this gold denim thread. because we are going to be top stitching it. A seam ripper. A pair of fabric scissors. Chalk just to mark where I'll be cutting or where I need to resize it to. Some pins. Okay, so I just have my jeans here, and what I'm gonna do first is remove this belt loop here. So I am going to basically be taking it in from the back here. So I'm just gonna remove the belt loop. Okay, so I just removed my belt loop. I'm just gonna put that aside, because I am gonna reattach it when I'm done with these. Okay, so now that I took the belt loop off, I'm just gonna open up the waistband. So I have the jeans inside out here and I'm just going to, so this is the center of my jeans. So just like a few inches past, I'm going to open up the seam here on the bottom. So I just broke open like two seams from this side and I'm just gonna go a few inches over, like one or two inches over from the center on the other side and do the same thing. So I'm just like ripping it open a little. Okay. And I'm just gonna do the same thing on the top of the jeans. And now I'm just marking the center point of the waistband so I know where to cut it by bringing the two side belt loops together. That way I'm able to get an even center point. You could also use a piece of chalk to mark this. It would probably be easier than using pins. And I'm just cutting right down the middle. And now I'm just gonna start opening up my butt seam. Okay, so here's what the back of the jeans are looking like now. I have a seam ripped down this middle seam of the butt here of the jeans. We have our waistband here. So here I just got a little help from my mom, but we are just opening the butt seam all the way down to the bottom. So I realized I really didn't need probably to open it up all the way to the bottom. I would probably recommend leaving at least an inch or two from the bottom of the butt seam. And I don't think it was really necessary that I had to go all the way down, but I did, so I'm gonna work with it. So I'm just going to cut the left side of the jeans a little bit shorter. So now I'm going to be pinning the butt seam and bringing it closer together than it was before so that I can take in an inch or so from that butt seam to make it a little tighter on the hip. So I'm folding over the left side after I cut it a little shorter and laying it on top of the right side of the pant and pinning it. This isn't the proper way to do this technique, but I still found that it worked great for me and it was secure and I did a nice little top stitch over it. And I'm just making sure here that I obviously only pin through the back side of the jeans and not pinning both layers of the jeans together. So now I'm just gonna begin my top stitch. So I didn't even sew this from the inside at all. I just did top stitching over it. So for my first line, I'm staying very close to like where the seam is that we pinned. And for the second line to give it the same effect as the rest of the jeans, I'm just going a little over to the side and just making another straight line all the way down. And then that gave it that double line top stitch effect. I'm just going back to finish off the very bottom of that 
by the crotch seam because it was a little hard for me to get to it at first so I just went back to it and this is why I think I didn't need to cut it all the way down to the crotch seam so maybe just take note of that if you're going to do this but I was able to make it work and I'm making sure that I backstitch a few times just to make sure that this is really locked in place and now I'm just going to start doing the second line Now I'm just going over the lines I made again just to give it that thicker stitching effect that the rest of the jean has. I'm just cutting any loose threads now. Okay, so this is what I'm working with now. I went over these lines twice just to make it thicker because I thought it just looked more similar to the actual stitching when I made it thicker. It's not like perfect, but it's pretty good, I would say. It's holding up. Feels nice and sturdy. And it looks pretty even from pocket to pocket. So this is what that looks like from the inside. So now I have this like excess fabric here. And then this is like our new seam line that we made. So I could trim this excess fabric. So far, I think it's coming out okay. <laughs> this is was so stressful to figure out. I watched so many tutorials and I just couldn't really figure it out. So I kind of just winged it and this is where we're at and I think it's actually coming out good. So I just basically have to do the waistband and that's it. So let's hope it comes out okay. So I'm just trying them on right now just to make sure it's good on the hip and it's like perfect. So this is what we're looking like right now. So I still need to do the waistband here and then reattach that belt loop. So I have my waistband here. So to do the waistband, I'm just basically like intertwining each of the layers together as you can see in the video here. It's a little hard for me to explain, but once I've laid it all out, I'm just going to stitch it back on the bottom. I'm just going to fold this over a little so that it doesn't fray. Once I've secured it on the bottom, I'm just going to restitch the top area. And since I'm going to cover this with the bell loop, I'm just going to go over this too. Here's to lock this one in. This might not be the best way to do it, but this is just how my brain is telling me to do it. gonna trim this a little on the inside I feel like it's not too bad I think it seems pretty secure I and mean, I'm gonna make this look better by putting the belt loop back over it I'm just gonna attach that now and then I think we'll be done should just go like that and then I'll just go back and forth to enforce it and lock it in So I think this is the finished product. I attached the belt loop here. Did some nice stitching along the butt here. Took it in a few inches. It looks a little sloppy from the inside, but I think it's not bad, honestly, especially for my first try. So I'm gonna try these on and hopefully they fit and come out good. Thank you. 
So I tried them on and they were still too big on my waist, but they fit really good on my butt. So I opened the seam just from the top here, just to the top of the waistband. And I'm just going to bring it closer in and then just sew back over it just to make it a little tighter. And then I'll just tighten up the waistband. So I had to bring the two pieces closer together and overlap them a little bit more just to take in more width from the top because they were still too big. And then I'm just re-stitching those lines again the best I could. I do think the second time around when I did this, it looked a little less neat than the first time. So definitely make sure you get your measurements like all sorted before you start sewing. I think I kind of just rushed it a little and that's why I had to fix that part. So when I tried them on, they were still just a little too big on my waist for my liking. So I decided to go in and just sew two quarter inch darts on the side just to bring it in a little bit more. And so here's the final product. I sewed my two little darts. They're really not that noticeable, so I really didn't even mind. And because they were so small, I didn't get the puckering. It looks a little bit sloppy on the top there. I think I could have done a little bit better of a job. But overall, I think it came out pretty good and I'm really happy with them. And I'm gonna do a little try on. So here are the finished jeans. I absolutely love them. I think they came out so good. This is my first time taking in this much width from a pair of jeans and i'm so happy with the results they fit me so much better i can hold them up without a belt there's no weird puckering and yeah i'm just really happy with the results and i can't wait to wear these okay everyone so that's it for the video thank you guys so much for watching this was definitely a challenge for me. I really didn't know what I was doing. So this is my first like denim thrift flip where the jeans were just so big on me to start with. So these jeans, I had to take probably about four inches off, I think. Yeah, it was definitely a challenge. I did it over the span of two days because it was just like a lot to do in one day. So I think now if I were to do it again, now I know what I'm going to do. There are so many different methods you can use for taking in the waist of jeans. Like if these were only like an inch or two big on me, I might have done the elastic hack where you put the elastic through the waistband and pull tighter. You can just do regular darts, but because these were so big, I had to take it in at the butt and on the waist, like multiple inches. It came out pretty good for the first try. And yeah, hopefully you guys can find this helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna keep up to date with my uploads. I hope to see you all in my next video.